My name is Nick. I became a Christian probably about, I mean, the bro most broken part of my life. I didn't receive a lot of care when I was younger. Um, and that really translated into my um, older, older years when I went to high school and when I went to college. Yeah. I didn't have relationships with them, or very strong relationships anyway. Uh, so I kind of just went about life doing my own thing. Um, kind of got with, with the wrong crowd. Started drinking, partying every weekend. I was on the football team. So, and uh, I just felt like I was worthless. So long story short, um, I ended up calling on God, going to church, um, and uh, accepting Christ within a month from, from this time, this night. And God really, uh, not having a belief in Christ, God really showed up and, and has done really big things in my life. Um, he's allowed me to heal. He's allowed me to help um, in the healing process of others. He's given me some amazing um, Christ-centered relationships, friends. Um, I've even been able to share Christ with my, with my family, which is super cool. Um, so about two years into my Christian walk, my mom is in this. Um, place of, of death and uh, so I I didn't have any hope that she could keep herself alive I had no hope the doctors could keep her alive but I did have hope that Christ could keep her alive so my initial response to, to seeing her was to start praying um, and uh, to start sharing scripture with her and this actually led to um, a lot of health improvements for her you know, I didn't recognize it right away, but after about three months of, of going in and sharing scripture and praying over her, um, and her health started improving. Um, and you know, whether that was because I was praying for her or not, I don't, I couldn't tell you. But the simple fact was that she was improving. And so this is really awesome for me to see. And it really motivated me to continue sharing Christ with her. Um, and about, about four and a half months after she was put into the hospital. She was, her health was increasing. Um, physical health, spiritual health, but mental health was still in the pits. Um, I remember seeing her um, after she had kind of gathered some strength and was able to eat and drink. Um, she still was ready to die. Even though um, the doctors had brought her back to life, she was still ready to die mentally. So I, you know, we had a serious conversation with her and said, Mom, this is your last chance. Either you fight or you die. And I think this was kind of her awakening uh, that God didn't want her to die. And it was very evident that God had kept her alive because she had nothing left. She had burned through her, every reserve her, her, her body had, every natural reserve, every ounce of fat, every ounce of muscle, every ounce of water weight was gone. She was skin and bone, that's it. So there was nowhere else to go but God. Uh, so in times of struggle, in times when, when we all feel like God's not around, my best advice would be just to lean into God, lean into His Spirit. He's always there, even when we don't feel 